Okay, so as a reminder now, to make neutral, to make mud, you're just mixing these three together. And there's so many different ways to approach that. You can literally mix yellow, cyan, and magenta all together and you get what you get. And that could be one neutral. Another way is if I'm looking at what magenta and cyan make, they make the violets. So if I just put my pencil down here on the violet and I shoot it across, look what's there, yellow, right? These two make violet, the one that's missing is yellow. So if I start off with a violet puddle, I can make neutral by adding yellow into it and I will make some mud. It might be slightly green because there wasn't a lot of violet there to work with, but it's still neutral. It's a neutral green. Looks very gray actually, like a green gray. Then I can do the same thing again. What do my magenta and yellow make? They make the oranges and reds. So now I can add in some green. So I can literally just pick up a little bit of green little bit of magenta or orange, and it's another neutral. It's similar to that one, but slightly different. And if I want, if I have, if I happen to have black or white on my palette, I can also use those. You do not need to add black or white, but I just want you to see that you can mix some white in, and it's still a neutral, now it's just a light neutral. So that's one here, it's the one right below it. It's almost the same color. When it dries it might show more that there's white mixed into there. So again, just mixing colors that are opposite. So um, if I have green, I can take magenta. I don't even care that there's mud on my brush because I'm just making mud anyway. And I just want you to experiment with making all different neutrals. Oh, this one's super purpley. and then just keep adding those all the way across.